Hi everyone, Jacqueline Howard here. Dreams, they feel real while we're in them, right? But it's only when we wake up where we realize that things are actually kind of strange. Actor Leonardo DiCaprio uttered those words in the 2010 sci-fi flick Inception, and they're kind of true. Why do we dream? And how do we dream? Psychologists and brain scientists have made strides in investigating this elusive world of slumber. Just take Dr. Robert Stickgold. He's the director of sleep and cognition at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, and he's a Harvard Medical School professor. We know that we dream in color. We know that we dream complex stories. They tend to be emotional, much more emotional than our waking life. We know that they tend to be visual more than auditory, auditory more than somatosensory and those three much more than other senses. Yet there are still things we don't know. We still don't really know mechanistically how we dream, how we dream is, is constructed. We have no idea how the material for a dream is chosen. But we may be getting close. Back in 1953, sleep researchers Nathaniel Kleitman and Eugene Azarensky recorded brain activity in people while they were sleeping. Now this led to their discovery of what's called REM, or rapid eye movement, sleep. Now we can dream in non-REM sleep, but REM sleep is a stage in sleeping when we have our most intense dreams. So although the early studies seem to suggest that REM sleep was when we dream, it turns out that's not the case. We dream all night long. So, many years ago, scientists were able to observe our dreams unfolding. But now, they can decode them. Researchers in Japan used an MRI scanner to monitor brain activity in the visual cortex of people while they were sleeping. The people then reported what they were dreaming about. Later on, the researchers created images of those dream reports and showed them to the same group of people and recorded their brain activity again. So was the pattern of brain activity during the dreams similar to the brain activity in response to those images? Yeah. This tells us we can, in principle, use uh, non-invasive brain imaging methods to kind of decode or try to infer what people are, uh, are dreaming about while they're asleep. Pretty crazy, right? That was Dr. Mark Stokes. He's a cognitive neuroscientist at the University of Oxford Center for Human Brain Activity. Now he said this study helps explain why our dreams feel so real. And that's because... It really is activating the same kind of uh, um, brain systems that are associated with actual experiences. So it is really like you are experiencing uh, that kind of visual um, content uh, during your sleep, but there's no visual input. These patterns of brain activity might be your mind at work, taking information from your memories and processing them, trying to make sense of them all. Dreaming is the poor man's therapist. I think those associations, those new connections, those new ways of looking at things are actually formulated while we dream and are stored somewhere in a usable form, even if we never remember the dreams. You never dream about something head on. Never ever. Interesting. Dr. Stickgold said the most common dream to have is the one where you show up to class for an exam right when everyone is leaving, so you miss it. Or, my personal favorite, your alarm goes off in your dream and you think you're late for work. Your first day of work. Yikes. All of these are what Alan Hobson has referred to as incomplete arrangements. It's when you haven't finished something. And there's things that we all spend immense amounts of time in our life worrying about. You know, this might shed light on how our dreams tend to be more negative than positive on average, and why they tend to get more negative as the dream goes on. It might be that it's because the dreams are becoming more disjoint and, and less clear. It tends not to be like fear and terror. And maybe it's a deep evolutionary argument that's been put forward that, you know, on evolutionary terms, we need more to worry about the things that seem threatening than we need to worry about the things that look positive. So what are some of your craziest dreams? Or are you having a recurring dream that you just can't sleep off? Let me know in the comments. Talk nerdy to me.